Hey guys, Goku Sump the one here, and welcome back to another video. Today on my channel, I'll be starting a new walkthrough, which is Pokemon Leaf Green version. Now, this game is probably one of my favorite in the whole series. Um, probably second most favorite, maybe third, but it's very, it's a very good remake. It's the remake of Red, Blue, and Yellow, and I feel like they did a lot actually with this. They remade the game, made the graphics better, of course, and then. They also had a few new things, which was pretty good. So at the beginning, we're gonna go through a little um, help guide, and then we're gonna start off with the game with Professor Oak introducing us to the Pokemon world. And he pretty much shows off a Nidoran. I don't know why they did this. I still think the normal Pokemon that they should show every single time is a Pikachu, just because everyone know everyone knows Pikachu, and that's pretty much the um, Pokemon everyone knows, even if they don't play Pokemon games. So he's gonna ask us for a name here, and of course, I'm gonna say I'm a boy before we do that. Uh, I don't like you really choosing the girl, cause I'm a boy and I'd rather play a boy in the Pokemon series. So we're gonna choose our name, and it is gonna be Goku. And we're gonna press OK, and then we also gotta tell him that is correct. It's a good thing that they add that, cause sometimes if you mess up your name, you got a second chance at going at it. And he's also gonna ask us for a rival's name. And I actually have a name for our rival. We're gonna name him Magic. Um, if you guys don't understand why I'm doing this, he's actually one of my mods in my Twitch stream, and we're we're kind of uh, we have a love hate relationship pretty much. So we're gonna name him Ra Magic right here, and then pretty much off with our journey. He's gonna tell us that our Pokemon journey is about to begin, and we're gonna shrink down to our normal Pokemon size and continue on our journey. So right when you come into your room. You can click right here and you're going to be playing the NES, and then if you walk up to the top left hand corner of your room, you'll go ahead and go into your PC, and you can grab a potion right here. Now, this is actually very useful at the beginning of the game, because you have a rival battle right at the beginning, you don't, you're not able to buy any items or anything, so if you have this potion and you are about to die, you can most likely win, because you're the only one who's able to heal in that battle, your rival doesn't have any potions at that time. So, after you get out of your house, you go up to the top here, and Professor Oak will stop you because you're not exactly ready to go into the grass because you don't have a Pokemon just yet, and he'll say it's unsafe and stuff, and he'll take you to your lab, his lab over here, and you'll able to choose out of the, street, the three starters. So, our rival will already be here already, and he'll be like, I'm fed up with waiting, it's like, bro, come on, you can't blame me, I want to go play out with the Pokemon outside. So, Professor Oak pretty much explains that there's three Pokeball over there, Pokeballs over there and that we're able to choose our starter. So we're going to do just that after our rival, of course, is done complaining because he's not able to go first. And the three starters are, I'll show you the first one. There's Bulbasaur, which is a pretty good Pokemon. It's not very used as much as the other two. Um, I don't know why, no one usually likes choosing the grass types. Um, I personally like some of them, mostly just Bulbasaur out of all the grass types in the whole Pokemon game, but yeah, there's also Squirtle right here, and then the final one is Charmander, which is kind of the most used. Um, that's just because in Pokemon Red, everyone chose him, and they also want to choose him again. I personally love using Squirtle, but I'm actually choosing an Oddball right here, and we're going to be choosing our Bulbasaur. Um, I actually have a set name for him in him already and I also thought it was appropriate to choose Bulbasaur just because we are doing a leaf green walkthrough and why not just like um, choose the grass starter if we're playing the grass game pretty much so we're gonna name him light bulb I know it's a pretty weird name and uh, kind of a, a little bit cringy but I've always named my th Bulbasaur or light bulb for some reason ever since I was a little kid and I thought it was a little bit of a unique name to have as our starter so thought I would do it so light bulb the Bulbasaur it looks like we also got a girl which is actually nice I never actually see a girl like starter ever I usually get a guy starter so your rival's gonna choose the Pokemon that is strong against your starter and before we even go on I'm gonna turn on my tech speed too fast you guys could do this as well um, you could turn on battle speeds or battle scenes off if you don't like looking at them and then also change it to set so it doesn't ask you to switch Pokemon. I'm also going to change my frame to 
number 10, just because I always like choosing the last one, and we're able to start a rival battle right here. So he'll tell you to wait, and this rival battle right here actually isn't very hard. It's kind of one of the easiest battles against the computer in a game, besides trainers, of course. But um, he's going to send out his Charmander, of course. Doesn't have a nickname on him. And before we even get into our Pokemon battle, Professor Oak's going to explain the whole how battles work, how the health works, how you can damage your opponent. And I'm actually going to just go for a tackle. Usually if I have Tail Whip, I like going for that first because we're able to do more damage. And then the computer will, like, I don't know how the AI exactly, exactly works, but they'll most likely try to growl you so they'll able be able to do... Um, or you'll be able to do the same amount of damage as you normally do without a Tail Whip. And I think we actually, I don't want to take the risk here, we'll do one more tackle just because. I don't think we'll die from it, yeah, we're going to live with 4 HP, good thing he didn't get a critical there. And then, since we're not going to outspeed, I'm actually going to go in my bag. And this is when the potion comes in handy, Oak is of course going to explain how this works. We don't really need this help really, because we already went through this game before. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon right there, and he's going to explain more stuff. Charmander is going to go for one more scratch, and we were definitely going to die from that scratch there if we didn't heal up, and we're going to win this battle, and even get a critical hit just to rub it in his face. Usually, 69 EXP as well, nice. We're going to go up to level 6, which is good, and almost up to level 7, halfway there pretty much. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! Nah, bro, we're just smarter than you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about magic. But, um... I usually don't like losing to the rival at the beginning, it's just kind of, I don't know, I feel like it changes the game in some way, because in the back of my head I'm like, oh, I lost the first battle. I know it doesn't really matter that much because it is a computer, but yeah. So after you're done your rival battle, you're able to go outside, oh, we went back inside on accident. So after that, we go back outside and we continue on our journey here. Now it sucks that we don't have running shoes yet, uh, it really is useful at the beginning of the game just because it's kind of slow in a way okay guys I'm actually gonna cut out every single little wild battle that we have just because it kind of interrupts the I don't know it's just hard to commentate for me myself like uh, talk during the whole battle and also you guys don't want to see me battle wild Pokemon because it, it takes forever sometimes and um, it's not like it's that interesting so once we go through that route we're gonna make it into Viridian City right here and you have to go all the way up to the Mart because we are gonna actually deliver something to Professor Oak right here the person at the cashier is gonna go ahead, go ahead and give us Oak's parcel and we have to return it to Professor Oak now this is important and he actually I don't even think you can advance from here without uh, actually giving this to Professor Oak because you're not able to use the Mart still you have to give this professor to Professor Oak before you could actually buy Pokeballs and stuff. So we're going to continue back down this road here. If you guys want to follow my steps, this is an easier way to make it through without getting into wild battles. You do have to go through the last patch of grass right here, but uh, usually you don't get in a battle right there. So we go all the way back down into Professor Oak's lab, and our rival actually isn't going to be here just yet. Um, we give us, or we give Professor Oak the parcel, and then our rival comes in, storming, and he's like, What'd you want, Gramps? And Professor Oak, I don't know if this is like made like this, but Professor Oak is kind of like, Oh crap, I forgot to call back uh, Goku, well, like my character. He only called back his grandson, which is kind of funny. Um, if we didn't get to, or have to return that, I don't think we ever would have gotten a Pokedex, so. We're gonna get our Pokedex right here, and I think we also obtain five Pokeballs. Yes, we do. That's perfect. We're able to get our first Pokemon. I don't actually really have in mind that many Pokemon I really want. I'm still debating on what my flying type wants to be, but we'll figure it out in the future. So, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make it back to Viridian City, and then I think from there, that should be a good time to end off the episode. Um, I think we also got our town map. Um, if you go into your bag right here, into key items, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, never mind. We have to actually go get that from our rivals. I think it's his sister, if I'm not mistaken, either that or his mother. So if you want to get the town map, you just go into your rival's house right there, and I think you actually talk to her. Yeah, she will give you a town map, which is very useful. 
at the beginning of the game, mostly if you don't know where you're going. And to use it, you go into your bag right here and pretty much you press A, use, and you're able to see the whole thing. Now, for now, before we actually get the our bike, I'm going to go ahead and register that. And to use the town map, you just press select and you're able to go into your map right there. And press B by getting out of it, of course. So we're going to continue back down this route. Um, I think I might fight a few Pokemon. I'll fight them if we get in a random encounter, just because it's good to get a little bit of XP. Okay, like I was saying before, it's good to get a little bit of XP here and there at the beginning of the game, just because if you don't, um, you're kind of screwed for the gym. It's nice to be at least level 10. So, if you guys actually want to know what happened in the last two battles there, I made it to level 7 and I also, I also learned Leech Seed, which is nice. So, before we end off the episode, I actually wanna. I actually don't know how much money we have. I think you start off with. Yeah, we have 3,800 or 80, which uh, is nice. We're able to buy some potions and stuff, which I'd like to do, just so we have that little extra heal here and there. And we don't die randomly in a route and lose and have to go all the way back. So, I think three potions should be enough. If you guys wanna actually follow what I'm doing right here, you can. And then. I don't think we need any more Pokeballs. Let's buy one more just in case we're not able to catch our Pokemon just five Pokeballs. And then from there, we'll heal. And yeah, I'm pretty much, pretty much this will be the end of the episode. If you guys want to see part two, it will be in the description below once it actually comes out, of course. So if you guys don't know how to heal, you just go up to the nurse, of course, and she'll heal up your Pokemon. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and left the thumbs up. Also, go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below what you didn't like about my commentary or something. I'd really love the criticism so I know how to improve my videos and everything, and yeah. So if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.